Welcome to Porter and Ale. I'm Porter. I'm Ale. And we're back. Yeah. 2018. We're coming at you hot. Fwah, fwah. That's terrible. Well, we were trying to hype up 2018. Yes, it couldn't be any worse than 2017. Well, it could. Well, we're well, going to be yeah. hopeful about this because... Oh, that's a good point. We do, I'm not I'm not going there. We, we don't want to go there. Say, yeah. We're here to drink beer. Yes, and which is going to make this so much better. Always a good thing. So... Instead of going on about what what it could be, we'll just we'll get into the beer. But man, it's so great to be back. It is doing this. It again. is. I mean, we. Man. I hated that we got you got to miss out on the 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 hops show and everything. But I it's know. fine. But, yeah. You know, it was that was fun. It was a it was a nice little uh, side, yeah. I guess. But uh, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. And we're gonna drink all those yummy beers. We hope and this time. He picked him out. I did. So if there's any bad ones, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I tried to pick some bad ones, so that's why I... Well, anyway, instead of babbling on, let's get to drinking. So first we have, from Founders Brewing, DKML. I have no idea if that stands for anything. Um, How about Dark... Uh, K word. What's a K word? Uh, Klingons. Uh, dark Klingons malt liquor. <laughs> That's racist, man. Yeah. Sorry. But they are. Don't don't kill my lager. Don't kill my lager. There you go. I like that one too. Imperial malt liquor, aged in bourbon barrels. Yes, I chose a bourbon barrel aged one. Bourbon barrel. All of our followers who've been watching us for a long time know that we have kind of a. Uh, hit and miss, more miss than hit with bourbon barrel uh, beer. So this should be fun. <sighs> the Warhammer returns. <sighs> ah! Okay, that was a little delayed. <laughs> well, 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 you got you had to wait for the spirit energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. It does have its moments where it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> hmm. That is straight bourbon. <sighs> I love some bourbon. Oh, yeah. Kind of hazy. Golden. But the smell is heavenly. I'll say oh, that. I, I want this in a cologne. <laughs> that would make you smell like such an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, uh, man, whoa. Jeez, what have you been doing? No, I just woke up this morning. And have a few shots, did you? When you want a good beer, but you want to get real stiff and hard drink, get you a DKML. It's a move. <laughs> Dickable. <laughs> It'll mess you up good. <laughs> so let's try it. Salute. Hmm. Bourbon. Woo. It's not bad though. No, but I was a lot stouter than I was expecting. That was, <laughs> This is like a. Oh, boy, here goes the brain again. <laughs> and it's only just one shot in. <laughs> there he goes again. I'm sorry. Whiskey guys, and beer. What do, what do you call that? Uh, 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 where you put it in there and you mix them together and the thing and the... Uh, uh, Irish carbone? No. That's... Is that an Irish carbone? No, because that's... Um, oh, God. This is going to kill me all night. Forget it. It'll come to me later. I mean, it's... Uh, what's the alcohol volume on that? I, I'm, I'm not curious. sure. Because this, this Cause seriously seems printed like... on here kind of weird. I'm not sure if that's 2% or 14.2%. I would believe 14.2. Yeah. Oh, you can fill it. it oh, it, yeah. You know what you didn't do? <laughs> well. You didn't read that. Oh, it's got stuff on the back? Yeah. It's got stuff on the back. All right. Well, give us our story. Here you have what could be the first malt liquor. Dragon. I want to try that again. Here you have what could be the first malt liquor worthy of a glass. Typically a slighted style. We thought we would class it up with a stay in the wood with a stay in the wood. That is just such an 
<laughs> funky sentence. Stay in the wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, man. I've missed this. I'm glad I'm back. <laughs> uh, and a healthy dose of dry hopping. A huge, a huge hit of corn. Oh, of corn? A huge hit of corn gives a huge hit of corn. <laughs> a huge hit of word is coming yeah. on. Done. Okay, yeah. A huge hit of corn gives this one a smooth sweetness. <laughs> well, God. Okay. gives this one a smooth sweetness. Well, as time spent aging in bourbon barrels will give you reason to. Sh- God. Here, you want to try? <laughs> yeah, no, I can give it a go. All right. Because I apparently can't. Mm hmm. Here you have what can be called the first malt liquor worthy of a glass. Typically a slighted style, we thought we would class it up a bit with a stay in the wood and a healthy dose of dry hopping. A huge hit of corn gives this one a smooth sweetness, while its time spent aging in the bourbon barrels will give you reason to share. Be warned, this one's a pry off, not a twist off. Ooh. Ooh. And very well done, well, sir. Thank you, thank you. Just funky sentences on yeah. that entire label. Just yeah, funky. Your bit of corn and your your giving a wood or whatever. <laughs> stay in stay in the wood. Stay in the wood. Just say Not hey. Stay in the woods. A stay in the wood. Stay in the wood. But like I'm sure, singular. But I guess they're talking about a the wood barrel, in the barrel, yes. whatever. But we're we're taking but it that far. So it's a okay. stay in the wood. But no, this is this is fantastic. If I could remember what the hell that drink is, and I'm sure all of you out there have been <coughs> shouting it at me relentlessly, saying it's called this. Leave it in all caps in the comments yeah. down below. And it's just it's driving me nuts because I need to know. I need to remember, and I know. <sighs> I just need to know. I need that word to come out of my mouth and say, ah, I have sweet relief. <laughs> yeah, sweet relief from the stay in the wood. Well, let's move on. It's a boiler maker. Jesus. All right. Sorry. See, in between takes, this is what happens. Oh, wait a minute. Is there anything here? Before I crack it open, uh, this is a Jekyll Brewing Company of Alpharetta, Georgia. Cooter Brown, American Brown Ale. Oh shit, that sounds good. Beer like it ought to be. <laughs> now what we have here is brown air that brown brown arrow. Brown arrow that's smoother than silk. You will smell deep roasted caramel notes as that creamy head embraces your stack. <laughs> Experience deep chocolate maltness and an American hop hop. Why well, my my accent's going all over the place? Uh, bitterness balanced to perfection. Now this is a uh, six point oh alcohol by volume. Oh snap! Ooh, ooh, ooh child. Gotcha. Ooh, child, we're gonna get drunk. <laughs> ooh, nutty. Yeah, I'm not definitely. I'm definitely not getting caramel. That's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> now is this gonna get my stash all wet and heady and foamy like they said <laughs> i don't know let's find out not bad got a bitterness to it mm-hmm. kind of a dark coffee mm-hmm. ground bitterness oh to it. yes yes I'm not getting any, any of that caramelization they're talking I'm about. I'm not. I'm not either. It's. I feel like that's a false advertising on their part. But no, it's good. Mm, it is. We have from Dogfish Head, Namaste White. Nah, man. Namaste White. <laughs> that's terrible. Belgian style <laughs> wit beer. Our Belgian style white ale. Brewed with. Dried organic orange flesh and pill, fresh cut lemongrass, a bit of coriander, peppercorns, and a healthy dose of good karma. I was going to say that sounds god awful, which is why I picked this beer. But we do have the good karma, so that should make up for it a little bit. <laughs> uh, pale and hazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't smelled it yet. Oh my god. I think you've done it. <laughs> I think he's achieved the worst beer oh of the evening because this is... I don't even know what that smell <laughs> it's, is. It's like its like you forgot that you'd opened a can of chicken noodle soup and <laughs> let it sit on the stove for about a week. 
God. I don't even <laughs> want to smell it anymore. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know, have you ever had somebody throw up and then you have to clean it? But you didn't use any deodorizer or anything, so the stench of the throw up is in just the air. lingers. It's just there, and you smell it, and you know you smell it. <sighs> How can you still smell that? <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid to drink this now because the stench is so bad. I I specifically chose this one because it sounded so awful. And he was right. <laughs> At least smell. All right, so let's just let's just get okay. this over with because I can't. I'm not gonna <laughs> for you guys. Uh. Oh. Mm. It's kind of bland. You 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 you're not really tasting the throw up <laughs> <coughs> smell. There's uh, there's that the the fruity oh. flavors. I guess oh. like the orange. What is it? The orange oh, flesh. Take the take take that second sip though. The second thing gets worse the more you drink. What do they say? Orange flesh? Orange flesh and pill. And coriander. And peppercorns. And pepper pull up peppercorn. And lemongrass. <laughs> you had you could have stopped somewhere. You didn't have to just keep throwing stuff into the pot. <coughs> it's like they said, ah, just put some of that in there. Put some of that in there. It's fine. It'll be good. It's like they were seasoning their dinner and accidentally dropped it into the mash and they're just like <laughs> the taste is bearable. Ugh. I'll just say that, but it's not good. It's oh. not good at all. All right, next up, we have Bell's Porter. That's it. It's a robust porter. Ta-da. At least they know what they are. They're not trying to be all fancy. They're just Ooh. a porter. They're simple beer. Our award-winning Bell's Porter bridges the gap between malty brown ales and heavy roasted stout. Ooh. Notes of chocolate, coffee, roasted barley are offset by a slight hot bitterness. Enjoy any time of the year. I was going to say, I like my women like I like my beer. Robust and dark. That is a dark beer. Definitely getting the... Uh, the I wouldn't say the the absolute darkest because a little light's coming through. Just, just, just a little. little, just a little. <laughs> okay, now I'm hoping that the smell of the other beer is not killing this because <laughs> I'm still getting that funk. <laughs> I'm getting more of a caramel from this than I did from the one that actually mentioned caramel. Good smell though. Once you mm -hmm. once the cup is clear of taint. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it tasted like. Taint. <laughs> If you enjoy some good taint, dogfish head. Namaste white. <laughs> Word. Uh. I'm going to not be white anymore if that's what it tastes like. <laughs> Ask your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Drink up. I'm sorry. Drink up. <laughs> I kind of like this one a little bit more than the other one. Mm -hmm. It's got a, uh, it's a bitter aftertaste. Not bitter in a bad way. No, 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 no. It's it's like it's like that dark chocolate bitter. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. That's good. Next we have Sam Seventy Six, refreshing, flavorful, craft, Imperial American craft, That's independent so. rather. I, I can't read. It's okay. Let's see. Okay, so I should read it. It's a uh, government warning. Not, not that one. Oh, no? Okay. Okay. No, uh, a little far, a little farther. Let's see. A revolutionary beer. 12 fluid. Right here. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> this guy. <clears throat> ah. Sam 76 is a perfect union of lager and L, giving you a craft beer with the flavor of an L and the refreshment of a crisp finish of a lager. The result is revolutionary. Ah, uh, <laughs> Jim Koch, Koch, Cook, Coke, Cook, Cook, Cook. Yeah, I thought it was Koch, but it's Cook. Who knew? I bet, I bet he's a bit of a cock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, learn okay. to spell your name right. Definitely hoppy smell. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It definitely has springtime written all over it. Which is funny because you know Independence Day is in the summer, so you'd think that would just kind of. In the summer time, when the weather is hot. I'm sorry, that's my musical Tourette's kicking in again. That's okay. Uh, it smells good though. 
Absolut. Mm. Tastes like marker. Light, crisp. Uh, hops really kind of prevail on the aftertaste. Kind of yeah. get a citrusy flavor at first. Oh, yeah, get, then... get a heavy citrusy flavor. Yeah. But it's good. It's definitely so. Like, I would definitely love to drink one of these after cutting the yard. Mm -hmm. Working on the car. Waking up. Why not? Eh, that's America for you. <laughs> America. <laughs> Cheers. And finally, we have the Sierra Nevada Ultra Base. Did I say that right? I hope so. <laughs> It's a ghost style ale. Uh, ale brewed with cactus, coriander, <laughs> and grapefruit. <laughs> you thought I was bad. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, Ultra Vase. Ultra Vase is a tangy twist on the nearly extinct ghost style. Is it? Is it extinct? I, it says nearly. Nearly extinct. extinct. Yeah. I, I didn't realize beer styles could go extinct. Me, me either. Who knew? Mm. Uh, it combines a zip of prickly pear cactus with a hint of grapefruit for a bright and thirst quenching finish. Now I know he was going for Hispanic, but that came out more Italian. It probably did. I didn't care. I, uh, I'm, beauty sorry. Beauty I'm beauty trying. Beauty. I'm trying to work on my uh, accents and stuff like that. Uh, there's more on the back if you uh, want see? me to read that. It says in California, where temperatures often top to triple digits, uh, perfect the warm weather beer is a priority. Perfecting it, anyway. Uh, we happen upon a sweet, tangy blend of native-grown prickly pear cactus uh, and grapefruit combined with a zing of traditional ghosts for a vicious but delicious twist on these stodgy summer sippers. Yay! I liked it. That was nice. That, that was real nice. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I, 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 I did my best. I didn't read any of that to him beforehand, just so that when it came to it, he'd be so surprised. Yeah, he set me up. Bastard. That's got a good smell to it. <sighs> the coriander. I'm smelling that because something's familiar. <laughs> now I'm getting a kind of almost agave kind of smell to it. Probably the cactus. Probably. Who eats cactus? Well, if you got cactus available, why not? It's calories. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go out of my way to eat a cactus. Hey, if I was hungry enough, I'd eat a cactus. If you're hungry enough, if you're in the desert and you have nothing else to eat, why not? Yeah. And but. if you got nothing else to brew with, hell, grab a cactus. <sighs> sure. Sure. Let's go with his logic. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with it. Oh, shit. <sighs> At least it doesn't stink. I'll give it that. <sighs> I know. <laughs> wow, that is sour. Uh -huh. <laughs> Toward the end, a fruity taste kind of comes mm -hmm. out. Almost like you just ate like a... A cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say a cactus. Like you ate some uh, cheap smarty candies or something like that and the aftertaste is there. Mm. But it's not as sweet. It's definitely sour. Mm-hmm. Doesn't taste like beer, really. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, that is. I chose some real winners today, didn't oh, I? Oh boy, did you? Franken beer does. Since this is my monstrosity, I think I should try the boot first. What do you think? I am not gonna argue <laughs> and say no, no. Let's <laughs> let's play for it by all means. Uh, so. It's got the color of a dark tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. And it's a, it's a very foamy head. Yes. Not thick, mind you, but it just sits there and wobbles. Like, wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> so when it, he puts it to his lip, it's just going to foam all over and be like... Rrr. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you now, there's no way I'm getting through this. You can't expect us to do this. We've tried, by God. It's just too hard. That's what she said. What does it smell like? Yeah, that's a that's a smell to it. <laughs> I don't even know what to describe that as. <laughs> I don't either. I mean, <laughs> usually you get a smell of something and you can say, "Well, it kind of smells like this." That has no description. <laughs> I have no comparison for this. 
The smell of regret is what that is. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. No, have at it. Oh, Jesus. But if he can finish all this, if he can chug all that, then... Yay, I don't have to do it. <laughs> so I'm rooting for you. <laughs> God, it's good to be back. Yeah. <laughs> Nope. Uh, it didn't sound good going down. Oh god. Now what? Oh god. He barely did that. Oh, I did. Barely. Oh. What what's the killer here? I don't I don't know. It just it it sits heavy. Well, there's a lot of porter <laughs> and dark beers in there. It's not the worst boot we've had. Okay. Which is surprising. Which is very surprising. But I guess all the other flavors are compounding upon it like, stop! <laughs> <laughs> I think the other beer flavors are fighting the uh, the um, Namaste White. Mm. Now, keep in mind, that was somewhere in here. Yeah. So, probably I'm going to hit a nice bit of vomit water <laughs> halfway through and be like, oh! and then oh. it's just going to be a disaster. I just... I want to know what the smell is. I cannot describe it. I've described numerous beers and DOS boots on the show before. This is just... It's ow. so unique. God. It's so fucking heavy. God. It's so heavy. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Well, it was such a terrible aftertaste. But still not the worst boot we've had. No. But, yeah. It's close, though. The coffee's so strong, but it's, it's keeping all those other flavors with it. Like, come here. Let me say it to you, boy. It's like, it's like your brain just goes, nope, nope, mm. I'm done. No. And then the carbonation. That, that's what hits me. It yes. seems to hit me all There's the time. There's so much carbonation in this. Yeah, because it doesn't go down smooth. The carbonation just kind of funnels together into one powerful belt. Yes. And then it just tingles. And you're like, I don't think I'll stay on because it's just going... Just... It's, it just feels like you're drinking foam. Yeah. So, oh boy. This is why you need two people on this show. Yes. Not one man could take down this boot. And if you are that person, you got a video to send us. Got, got to use the six beers, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's how that works. If you want to be the ultimate Porter and Ale challenger, you must do what we do. Yes. And do it all. One man. Because the, the three is impressive. Yeah. Filling this up and chugging, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. But you just don't get the full impact unless you use all six random beer just... Yeah. Oh. And to be fair, we've had one person attempt it. Mm -hmm. And that was Hops. She was here. She's mm -hmm. gotten to experience what we go through now. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, there was your show. Hey! hey we're Woo! back! 2018! Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we had. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to go tend to him. <laughs> we hope that you have enjoyed watching us drink these terrible beers. <laughs> you see what he's doing? He's killing me. He's dying over here. i got to go take care of it. <laughs> So what you need to do is, if you want to help this guy out, you need to go to patreon.com slash pencil and paper productions, give a little money, help us support the show so we can do this more often, as we often like to do. It was fun to be back. It was. Fun hanging out with you guys. So come on back next time. We'll try to have as much Porter Nails we possibly can in 2018, because we love your faces. I'm Porter. I'm Ale. My belly hurts. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>